I'm Chris Castlin, West County Commissioner here in Davis County, and today I am with Leslie McCarty. She is our Davis County Clerk, and we're, we're here looking at the uh, the different storage, and what, what's this room called again, Leslie? It is called the records room. Okay, I'm sorry. that We're at the records room, and Leslie's been ex helping me understand what it is that, that we're required by law to, uh, to maintain, and also, uh, you know, how to research, uh, find the information that we need uh, or that's needed, like if you're purchasing a house, uh, looking at uh, maybe a marriage license or something like that. But Leslie's helping me understand what all we maintain here and how to find it. So Leslie, can you help uh, explain a little bit of that today? Well, sure. So we maintain all legal records and by law, we have to have 30 years kept online. And by 2026, all records will have to be online going back 60 years and one way you can look at that online is through eclicks you can go to our website make an eclicks account and uh, do as many searches as, as uh, you would like but you can also come down here and look at those records you can also look at um, historic records and we will be glad with help to help you with any kind of search so it's not just for um, attorneys and title searchers anyone is welcome to come okay so you were talking about uh, developing an eClix account. Uh, how much was, would that cost me to develop that account? Okay. So eClix is free. You would go to our land records uh, site on the Davis County Clerk's webpage, click on land records, then click on free account for eClix, make, uh, make your account, and it will get approved, and then you can search. That's great. So. Um, with that, if I needed to come here and look at some records, I need to take something with me, uh, what type of cost would that be so that, I, you know, so that I'd be prepared, or if somebody else was coming here, so they'd be prepared to, to know? Is there, um, can, they, can they call ahead of time, find out what the cost is, or is it online, or can you just tell us today? You can call 270-685-8434 uh, and listen for recordings or land records. There's also a list online on davisky.org and you can click on land records and see the price of how much each document is to record. Now to get a copy, uh, there's different charges for say a certified copy. I think it's 10 cents a page, it's dictated by statute how much we are allowed to charge per copy. Okay. Thanks. So some of the interesting things today, too, that we were looking at, uh, we looked at the different types of uh, the plat books, how those are organized. Uh, the, you know, this is all fairly new that in your storage area while you're maintaining the records. Can you explain what what would somebody need to look at that for? Could, do you know? So somebody may want to look at the, the, the whole picture of their property. So they could go to a plat and see where their house would have been or how much property there was originally. And you can do that if you know, say, a book and page number. So we have, I don't even know how many plat books we have, but say your plat is in book one. You can go to book one, and if you know the page number, you can go to the page number of that book. And that's pretty much how it works with, if you're looking for a deed or a mortgage, you go to an index book, you look up, a name say you're looking for Chris Castlin you can look up Chris Castlin as um, a grantor if say someone bought a property from you you'd look up Chris Castlin and then it will give you a book and page number to refer to and then you come into this room or go to the image and look at uh, your your deed or your mortgage and it's really kind of neat to look at those because you can go back to previous deeds books and page numbers and deeds and mortgages and just see uh, the progression of that. You can go back to some very historic names sometimes. Yes, I, I noticed and, and I appreciate uh, the information that we can get here. And anybody that's a history buff or uh, wants to learn something a little bit more about their the history for in Davis County or with their family or something like that, this is a great place uh, to come and do that kind of research. Yes. So thank you so much. Thank you.